Yeah. I'm pretty happy about that. I was wondering if it was going to block too much of the uh, the bearings, because that looks kind of cool. I'd hate to hate to hide those. But no, I think that's that's perfectly acceptable, which is good because otherwise I was going to have to put 150 of these on the lathe and narrow them down a little bit. But I think that looks really good. So that's one less thing to worry about. I think I've improved the process of drilling the spinners a bit. I've got a stop set up on the vise, and I realized I just needed a small enough end mill, so I ordered a, a four millimeter end mill. Um, and now I don't have to take the cheap outer bearings out, which is good because that really killed my thumb and fingers doing that, and um, was a little bit prone to even cracking the casing. So this way I can place the spinner in there, slide it over, and then it's just already centered, ready to go. Um, I don't, I can just drill all the way down and get a nice flat bottomed hole, and then just flip it around and flip it around, and then do that for another 120 or so odd times. So this is what it looks like. And that's it. Um, unlike with the drill, I don't need to clean up the holes. They're clean enough. And uh, yeah, so I think this is the way to go. Okay, I made up a bit of a test bed on some old plywood uh, just to get a better sense of how they work on a larger scale. Um, and the motion does pass pretty far. I don't think I'd want to go reliant on going farther than about a foot out, or say from the middle of one of these two by two pieces of plywood. It'll also bridge gaps, and this has a slight angle to it. Um, the original design the primary design for the installation has some tessellation like this, but it's a little, it's pretty finicky getting motion to, to jump across there. So now I'm thinking I'll, I'll just uh, have some separate, completely isolated panels and not try and get, worry about these edge effects like this. But uh, yeah, looking pretty good, I think. Next up is figuring out how to mount the drive motor, which one of the, each one of these panels needs a drive motor. So there's a nice um, bolt hole pattern here. So it's easy enough to mount one on the far side of the board. But once that has to be done first, and then the spinner put on top, because um, otherwise it'll make getting to the holes hard. And also I really want this to look as normal as possible up here. I don't want a big ugly hub or anything. So the solution I've come up with is um, remove one of these bearings, obviously, and they're just press fit. So I'm going to make a replacement hub that press fits in there, with a bit of a rim, I think, so it's nice and flush. And that'll be tapped for the uh, 5 16 18. I keep dropping that damn thing. But this 5 16 18, which is what just all of them will be, that can be threaded through there. And so that's a unit. And then once the motor is mounted under there, it'll have an adapter on here, so it has a nice set screw for the flat, and the other side will be tapped for 5 16 18, and then this whole unit can be threaded down in there. And then as long as the motor is turning counterclockwise, it can't unscrew itself. And there's no torque here anyway, very low power. So um, I think that'll work fine. To the lathe. Found this piece of one inch cold roll in my bin. Uh, this was actually the piece that I used when leveling the Hugo bases back in 2015. But, uh, you know, everything gets reused eventually. So, just need to, it's perfect, the width is just perfect. So, I need to drill it out, tap it, um, and then cut it off at the right depth.
Okay, I have the three of the drive hubs ready. Just need to stick them in like this on reversed around and uh, clean up this side, which will be the only side actually visible, so it's by far the most important, aesthetically speaking. Here they are, the finished hubs for the driven spinners. It's just a simple press fit, replacing the, the bearing that was there. There we go, looks pretty slick. And then one of these screws gets locked down. I'll come back through and Loctite these, there's no reason not to. I'm thinking maybe I'll want to try and drive the middle panel clockwise instead of counterclockwise, that might be nice. Um, so if I can get these more secure, that would be nice, but we'll see. Anyway, that will be one driven spinner. So now I need to work on the adapter that couples the other, this side of the screw to the motor itself.